Hello and welcome to Trading Volatility for the week starting the 11th of December 2023. We've got a plethora of um, interest rate decisions by the likes of the US Fed on Wednesday and also the Bank of England and the European Central Bank on Thursday, which may uh, add a bit of volatility to the US dollar. And uh, if we look, for example, at uh, dollar yen, that's where I believe a lot of volatility will be seen because uh, it already started this week when we had the Japanese Central Bank coming out and hinting at basically um, the possibility of um, uh, reducing its very, very strong stimulus and thereby entering a tightening cycle at a time when other central banks such as the Fed and the ECB and Bank of England are actually thinking about cutting their rates uh, perhaps in the first or second quarter of next year. So if you look at dollar yen, we've already seen a very sharp decline on that expectation that the uh, Japanese central bank uh, might in future tighten earlier than was originally anticipated. And that has led to some strength in the Japanese yen, taking it down to the 200 day simple moving average here, as we can see, uh, to just below 142 yen. And next week, we will probably see more volatility with regards to this currency pair. And if we were to fall through this week's low at 141 yen 63 sen, we could actually slide further all the way down to the July low around the 138 yen mark. So um, probably further volatility to be seen in the days and weeks ahead with regards to the dollar against the Japanese yen.